today, I want to talk about the everlasting Azir itemization pandemic. Last year, we saw delusional people convince themselves Crown of the Shattered Queen was a must-have first item on this champion. Now this year, possibly an even worse item path has taken root, Tank Azir. Even the best players in the world are building this trash on Azir and rightfully getting punished for it. Now not every Azir I've seen does this build every game, but I see it quite often nowadays, and it needs to be called out. Unfortunately, we see a similar line with other champion builds like Twisted Fate, as pro players appear to be allergic to doing damage. Azir is a hyperscaling damage carry, and this build doesn't do damage. I'll be using Chovy in Game 3 of the LCK Finals as an example. Let's take a look. The delusion begins with rune setup, as this tank Azir build takes grasp of the undying. Already, we have a basis for not doing damage. This rune offers some extra HP and a little extra pot damage in lane, but again, it's not focused on what Azir wants. You know what Azir wants? Conqueror! Even lethal tempo would be fine. To be fair, Grasp might, might be more useful than Hail of Blades on Azir, but my point stands. Conqueror or lethal tempo should be the only runes ever taken on this champion. Why? They amplify his damage significantly. That's really it. It's simple reasoning that not even the best players in the world can understand. They value popularity over actual thought. In terms of the itemization itself, it starts out pretty well, as Chovy builds into Leandris first. This is exactly what Azir wants, as it gives a lot of AP and synergizes with his soldiers very well. Great first item choice, and really the only valid option. But don't worry, it all goes downhill from here. He goes Zonia's Hourglass second, which is bad. Even if he was going full AP damage, this would still be bad because he wouldn't have the damage to carry until third item. It would be much better to go something like Shadow Flame or Void Staff second, so you can actually do damage, then get Zonia's third for defense if needed. But he isn't even going an AP build. He's going tank. So from that perspective, the Zonia's is even more useless because it isn't a damage-oriented item. If Chovy's looking for some damage in the first two items, he should just go Void Staff second and then go into tank. Compared to what's next, the Zonia's honestly isn't even that bad. He builds into Abyssal Mask third. This is literally just a tank item that shreds a minimal amount of magic resist. This has no business being in an Azir inventory. Honestly, I don't really have much reasoning past the fact that it's a tank item and Azir isn't a tank. It really is that simple. And after that, he builds into Frozen Heart 4th. It really makes me question everything, this build. This inventory looks like it could be the enemy Zac, or maybe a Gragas or something. I don't even have to explain stat comparisons or anything. This build doesn't do damage. AP Azir does do damage. That's what the champion wants to do. He doesn't want to be a tank. This is similar to the Energizer TF build not doing damage, but way worse. And it really did show inside the game. Aside from Chovy going 1-6, just watch the team fights and look how little damage the Azir does. With double tank topside and now a tank mid lane, Aphelios has to do everything this game. This build is complete trash, and I don't understand why it's always Azir that draws delusional itemization. Honestly, I'd love to go back to the crown rush last year. This is so much worse. Thanks for watching. See you next time.